We know autumn is officially here. That means local vineyards are hard at work bringing in their crops. In today's Andy's Adventures, he takes us to a vineyard to show us a grape stomp. You started harvesting earlier this week? We actually started around Labor Day with some of our earlier picks for some of our sparkling wines. Mm -hmm. But then we've received quite a bit of rain and we're letting things dry out and now we're back to picking today. Okay, so, so what are we gonna go pick right now? So we're gonna go to our Bernot block. How big of a crew do you typically have out here? We can have, you know, 20 to 30 harvest pickers. Uh -huh. They go so fast with their buckets and just sprint back that uh, it is, I mean, it's almost a sporting event. You know, we just come right here and uh, you get the cluster and then we'll be putting it into our fermenter. So okay. we'll let you go here. So you just kind of go just at the, at the very end right there? That's right. And then just right in the bucket. And then right there. Oh, that's a good one. That's, that's a, a beautiful one. cluster. Yeah. Am I as fast as the... Uh, Pros. I don't know if you would even be making minimum wage right now. <laughs> they come through and they remove leaves so that the, the clusters can get as much sun exposure as possible. What's that process called? It's called leaf removing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with all the technical terms. You're going to be making quite a bit of wine here. Oh, crud. Is that a bucket? That's a bucket. You're part of the 2019 vintage. I feel good about that. What are the hours that they're working during harvest? We're working 24 hours a day okay. within three shifts. All right, let's pour it right in there. Oh. Nice. There we go. So, Wendy, we've gone through the whole harvesting process, and back in the day, you would then stomp on the grapes, correct? Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. that's not the way the technology is today, correct? No, we got all kinds of grape production equipment, right. so you don't have to, but but we like to look back and relive history sometimes. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, oh, I already oh, tripped. Get in there! There you go, good job, yes, oh, awesome. Oh, you're, watch your jug, looks like you lost your jug, someone. Don't lose the jug! Man, Taylor, you're killing it. Oh, Taylor, stop it. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, man, Andy, you're doing great in there. Whoa, splashing, splashing. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I think I've got I like more smashed it. grapes. You gave her juicier grapes. <laughs> Nine, eight, no, seven, no, six, no. I think I've got 68 pounds. 68 ounces. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, Kara. Oh, oh man. Man. <laughs> You did great, though. Oh, yeah. good job. Bravo, bravo. So much fun. So My goodness. Cool. Yeah. I bet your tootsies were cold, yeah. though. I imagine that's really kind of chilly, burying them in grapes like that. Well, you know what? I started working up a sweat after about 15 oh, yeah. seconds. Well, and when she point. said, when I start breathing heavy and I'm 30 seconds into the three-minute competition, I'm like, oh, my goodness, i got to pace myself. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it was great fun. So they do that grape stomp competition every year. Uh, they had it just last weekend, had a great time with that. Over a 1,000 people showed up for that. And then also we mentioned about the uh, winemaker for a day. You can actually find information on how to uh, try to do that at their website, which you have, we have a link on our website, kptv.com, and you can try to get hooked up and actually be a lot more involved than what we were able to do. And this happens to be a bottle from the very area where I harvested uh, only probably at least a couple years ago. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm excited for that uh, process to go through. It's, it's quite the process and neat to uh, learn about it.